Welcome to episode 427, David Duffield, the man who founded Six Software Company. This is an outline of episode 427. There are three reasons we study David Duffield. First, he founded six software companies, two of them billion dollar giants, PeopleSoft and Workday. Second, he founded PeopleSoft at the age of 47 and Workday at the age of 65. Third, he founded one of the world's largest animal fund, Maddie, in 1994. Let us meet Maddie, the $345 million dog. Animals. My wife, my first dog was Maddie, a miniature schnauzer. At the time, I had started a company called PeopleSoft. We were two years into the company, and times were really difficult. You know, we were spending a lot of money on employees and facilities and computers and I was very nervous about actually making a living out of this in the future. Uh, mortgaged our house, basically no money left and I had this little friend, Maddie, this miniature schnauzer that I, I promised that if we ever did make any money, and I was relatively poor at the time, uh, we made money, I would give it back to her. And he was born in 1941 in Cleveland, Ohio. His father is a space engineer. He was number one in math in his high school. Uh, graduated 11th out of 511. Uh, got the top math award in our high school. Uh, I had an 800 in my math SATs and an equally miserable 425 in my <laughs> English SATs. So I think I held the record in the country, if not the world, for the biggest difference. Yeah. Yes. I went to Cornell University and earned a degree in electrical engineering in 1962 and an MBA in 1964. Even though he was a math wizard and he founded six software companies, he failed in the first course in programming he took at Cornell University. I got interested in um, computer programming and signed up for the introduction to, to programming with uh, professors Conway and Maxwell. And um, Professor Maxwell is right here in the front. There he is. <laughs> so I'm taking this course from Professor Maxwell did terribly. He failed me. <laughs> no kidding, he failed me. I think I got a zero in the court. Did wonders for my GPA. After graduation, he went to work for IBM in Rochester, New York. After that, he founded two mainframe application software companies, both using DB2 based on IBM mainframe. 1987, he founded PeopleSoft. The success of PeopleSoft would make him a billionaire. In January 2005, PeopleSoft was acquired for $10.3 billion after a hostile takeover. A month after the acquisition of PeopleSoft, Oracle cut over half of PeopleSoft workforce laying off 6,000 of PeopleSoft 11,000 employees. This is picture of Larry Ellison of Oracle. Two months after he lost PeopleSoft, he co-founded Workday with Anil Brussi. Workday is a complete redesigned product of human resources and customer relations management. It's different from PeopleSoft on three areas. First, it uses cloud technology. Second, software as a service. Third, it's based on international instead of US based, and it started on day one. Developed so many new features and functions in, in the product, uh, fabulous releases, uh, you know, updates. We've also listened to you. Um, to date, there are over a thousand brainstorm features embedded in, in the Workday product. Uh, these brainstorms come directly from you via the community where you vote and you, or you offer up new ideas and, and the peer companies vote 
positively or negatively on those ideas, uh, then th they all come into our product managers. We're all on the same, same version, version of the system. Same version, every one of us. 700 customers today and growing, 7,000 customers tomorrow, everyone will be on the same version of the system. We call this the power of one. It's well, they went IPO on October 2012. David Duffield became the first man who founded two billion dollar tech companies. Today is ringing the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange. Some of our biggest customers are companies like Flextronics and Hewlett Packard, uh, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. Netflix, uh, Chiquita Brands, Salesforce, Facebook, on and on. Thank you for watching. Please leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be David W. 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.